and welcome back to the channel. I'm Lily and today I'm going to be continuing on my ship series with a full tour of the Celebrity Silhouette. As you may already know, I am living and working on this ship for a lot of this year as a guest event. So let's get going with the full tour. So I want to start this tour on the lowest deck of the ship and the lowest deck for guest area is deck three. And on this deck you have guest relations, you have the whole foyer, you have the bar over there. So I'll take you around and show you all of that now. Perfect. So just behind me here is the main elevator system that goes all the way up to deck 15. The bottom deck of that is deck 3 and if I turn around, this is the main staircase in the foyer. Quite often in the evening you get musical acts just here where I'm standing. So there are bands, there are events that happen in the foyer and you can see all around on deck 4 and 5 our balconies all around so it's a really great performing space it's a really great place and in the evening the vibe is very much party like right now in the daytime we have the natural light coming in from the windows and it is super chill and everyone is just kind of like sat chilling this is kind of where everything happens it's sort of like the heart of the ship and the melting part of what's going on so this is a really great place to be and to know what's going on here so just behind me here is a shore excursions desk that's on the opposite side to guest relations this is where you would come to find out about all what excursions are going on in the ports and to book them so this is also located on deck three so towards the aft of the ship on deck three is this place Lumine and this is a special restaurant and lunch place for people that have sweets only so it's super exclusive I don't know too much about it but that's the information that I have for you guys on the port side of the ship here still at the aft is the Grand Curve which is the main dining restaurant for guests this is part of the all-inclusive so if you don't want to go to the buffet in Ocean View you can come down here for a meal you either have to reserve a table or you can just wait wait times are completely dependent on how busy it is it's a set menu so you can find out what the menu is each day on the app. The ground curve is super super big so make sure it doesn't get too busy for everyone and it actually goes across deck four and deck three. It's really nice and light in here in the daytime and it's got a really nice vibe in the evening as well. So just heading up the main staircase in the foyer up to deck four we have the shops right ahead of us. And then here on the starboard side of deck four, we have the casino, which is actually really big. There are plenty of machines, plenty of tables, everything's flashing, everything's bright, uh, very Vegas style. So moving further forward on deck four, we come to a circular style little hot spot here in the middle. There is a small bar here. There is the Future Cruise desk. There is a club called Quasar. There's Comedy Central, which is a small theater-like venue. And then there is a staircase that moves on up to the art gallery. So moving further forward on deck four, we have the theater. Now the theater is beautiful. It runs across deck four and five, so you can get in on either deck. There's stairs outside the theater and stairs in the theater. It hosts an absolute array of different seating there are seats for disabled there are high chairs if you just want to pop in with a little bar area there is something on most nights and in the daytime there can sometimes be talks and presentations too i always check what's going on in the theater because if there's something big it's normally in here you also have all the cast shows in here so definitely a great place to be but just outside the theater there is always a screen that shows you what is on tonight and euphoria is on tonight which is one of the really cool shows that involves the cast and the aerialists so more towards the middle of the ship on deck four you have the martini bar which is right behind me and across the way is craft social so that's set up a bit more like a pub if you want a pint there's some nice seats by the window here at the martini bar and we'll go across the craft social to have a little look at that too So moving towards the aft of deck four, we come to Grand Curve again, which is the upstairs of the dining room I showed you downstairs. 
So as I head on up to deck five at the aft, I come to the Captains and Concierge Club on the port side. And then there is also a door. This is where you can get to the open deck. So we'll just go and have a little look out there. deck on deck five runs front to back forward to aft on both sides most of it is taken up by the lifeboats but there are a few spaces where there aren't any lifeboats so there's some chairs there's some lounges where you can sit and have a sunbathe or look out into the sea so this is a very relaxing space it's one of the few spaces that actually doesn't have any music so you can really just take in the sound of the waves so heading back inside on the starboard side of the ship we come to the ensemble lounge which is really cool so the ensemble lounge is basically a beautiful lounge that you can come and sit in and listen to some music in the evening and it goes through to the speciality restaurant so you walk through here to get to them so it really sets the vibe for your evening you can sit and have a drink before you go to your reservation it's a really nice place to be the entrance they've got all the little bird song going on and it's really beautiful it's a very nice place to chill in the evening and you can chill in the daytime too so moving down more into the space they have this beautiful artwork behind me and then also an array of interesting chairs. I guess that's if you maybe need to wait a little while for your table or you're waiting for people coming from other state rooms to join you for dinner. So let's go and have a look at the speciality restaurants. It's a really great place to sit and have a coffee. They also have sweet treats in the case there as well that you can have. And the coffee you do have to pay for. There's plenty of seats as well. It gets a little bit busy on a sea day in the afternoon, but it's a really nice place to chill. So one of my favorite places on deck five is Sushi on Five because they do some really great vegetarian sushi. Obviously they do normal sushi too, so it's a really great place to come because it's super nice. So again, heading forward on deck five, we have the Celebrity Eye Lounge. So this is anywhere that you need to go um, for any kind of internet trouble or you know to help you set yourself up you go to the eye lounge and they can help you there there's always somebody there to help you there is also the world-class bar here as well which is apparently a very nice place to have a drink there's lots of nice seating it's very nice and light up here it has a luxurious feel up here because they also have all of the more luxury shops up here so they've got the watch shops the jewelry shops and um, all very fancy and housing very expensive products but it's a really nice place to walk by of course so moving down the corridor again further forward we come to the art gallery there is currently a art talk on so i will only show you a little snippet but it houses pieces of artwork like these behind me and they do talks about it they do competitions with the artwork so again a really nice place to come and check out so as you can see here from this diagram lots going on between deck three and five and deck six seven eight nine and ten there really isn't a lot going on apart from statements but i wanted to take you to these two little nooks so the hideaway and the library so let's head there now We are on deck seven, ready to check the hideaway out. This is, as it's labeled, the perfect way to come and hide away, play cards, read a book, or do some video editing. Also, if you head up to deck eight, they have these little nest type seats, and they are perfect to, again, just hide away and get away from everything. The hideaway is just underneath us there. And this is the nice comfy seat. So again, the library is a great place for you to sit and read a book. I don't think there's any hard and fast rules that you have to be really quiet, but I guess that's kind of in with the name that you need to just, just one deck up on deck 11. They do have either side, one chair, either side that you can access. So it is on multiple decks. So that brings me to deck 12, which gets very exciting. Again, we are out in the open. It's a beautiful day. There's loads of stuff on deck 12. We're gonna start in the aft of the ship and move forward to show you what's there. So the open deck, how 
houses, two outdoor pools, four outdoor hot tubs, a bar, a performance area and lots of sun lounges. This is a place to be on a hot day and depending on the weather you can catch live music, performances, games and parties. So moving further forward on deck 12 we have the Solaria which is one of my favourite places to be. It's very quiet and tranquil. It has its own pool and another two jacuzzis. So this is if it gets a little windy outside or a little cold or you're done with the sunshine and you want to come inside. This is the perfect place. It's temperature controlled and it just feels kind of like a spa. It also has a spa cafe in the corner which opens for breakfast and it opens for lunchtime serving light bites. Moving further forward on the starboard side, you come into the spa area. This hosts a variety of different rooms and different things. I'll show you what's here. Right at the very front of the ship on deck 12 is the gym. So the gym is one of my favorite places to go on board. It's got loads of equipment. You've got treadmills, lots of different cardio machines. There are spinning bikes and there's also loads of resistance machines as well as a weights rack and some benches. There's a great little yoga space so you can stretch. They've got mats, there's plenty of yoga blocks and lots of equipment for anyone to use. There's a place where you can get water. It's a really, really great space. And this is out the front of the gym. It can sometimes be a little bit windy out here, but today it's the perfect breeze. The sea is really calm and there's actually looking to be quite a nice kind of cloudy sunset happening just in the front of the ship. I also did just film the helipad you can see if you look over the balcony you can see the helipad from here. There was only one time since I've been on board that that's been used when a guest needed to be disembarked really quickly because of an emergency health situation. So fun fact this ship does not have a deck 13 and I think you'll find that most if not all ships are the same. 13 is an unlucky number in most cultures and therefore it goes straight from deck 12 to deck 14. So from deck 12 here, let's head on up to deck 14. So we just headed up to deck 14 and we are right at the front of the ship and this is Sky Lounge. It's a really cool place to hang out in the day and again in the night. They have lots of things going on, game shows, music events, they have little shows in there. So there's actually so much space in here to come and sit down. It's a really great place to bring a book and you can see the ocean which is lovely. You can sit up here and watch the waves. They have chairs all around the outside and again lots and lots of glass windows in here. So this is a wonderful place in the day. Time. I'm really bad for only ever coming up here at night. But I actually much prefer this room, the Sky Lounge, in the daytime. It is just stunning and it's very peaceful. This is the meeting place and it is situated at the front of the ship on deck 14. We just have a few rooms here if anybody needs to hire the room for meeting purposes or conferences or anything like that they have two rooms available for that. So this is deck 14 forward. It's pretty much an extension of the open deck on deck 12. They have a whole ton of sunbeds on here for you to lie in the sun. And they have the mast grill and they also have the bar the other side. So if you go all the way aft on deck 14, you find the Ocean View Cafe. And if you're cruising, you're gonna to wanna to know exactly where this place is because this is the buffet. They have absolutely delicious food. They have breakfast, lunch, dinner, and everything in between. They have snacks going the whole day. Ocean View Cafe 
buffet is that you can actually bring your dinner outside as well and they have this open deck where you can sit outside and eat which is lovely behind me they have couches that you can sit so there's a option of seating up this staircase just here it takes me to the sunset bar which is a really lovely little spot so we'll go and take a look technically classes as deck 15 and then when you come up here they have the lawn they have real grass on the ship there is a big lawn in the middle and they have big booths all the way outside and then they have a restaurant just nearby called the long club it's a really great place to sit they have a big screen just behind me they play movies on that in the evening and you can rent the booths out i think for either an evening or an afternoon or the day and you get like champagne and things there's a restaurant just nearby called the long club so i'll show you all these little bits So again traveling more towards the middle of the ship they have this smaller restaurant just here called the porch as well which i believe you can have lunch and dinner at i'm not entirely sure what kind of food they do but i've heard it's really nice so one of the last places that i have left to show you is forward deck 15 so as you climb this staircase you can see it is the retreat sun deck behind me now this is exclusively for guests that have paid to go to the retreat so i don't actually know too much about it i don't know what's there i've never been because i haven't paid to go i can only imagine they have private sunbeds maybe like a pool probably a private bar similar to everything else that we have on board but just more private so i'll just show you it's just here and yeah i'm sure there's plenty of information online as to like what that entails maybe someone's done a video where they have paid for it so that you can see what's there but this is it so I've headed back up to deck 12 because it is just so peaceful and quiet out here today just to say I really hope you enjoyed the video thank you so much for watching please let me know if there's anything else you would like to know about the celebrity silhouette and I will do my best to answer those if you did like this video please give it a like please subscribe to my channel I have lots more videos coming and lots of other videos on for you to watch so please go and check out anything else that I have on here and I really hope I see you guys soon Thank you.